Jean View or Genevieve is the next ghost town along the way here. And, and there's nothing left except for this cemetery named the Mount Olive Cemetery. And there's not a lot of information about the town except it did have a post office for some time in the 20s and 30s. Uh, it's probably a little bit bigger before that. A lot of these headstones are from, you know, early 1900s, late 1800s. And then there's newer ones too. So obviously it's still a community cemetery, um, kind of more sparsely populated area of Stonewall County. So, but the town had a, a couple stores and um, was kind of on maps till 1940s, 1950s. And then it has apparently faded away. town of Swenson um, got started because of some people taking a chance on hoping the railroad would come through here and it did and then the town started growing and it had everything that you know these towns have they have banks and hotels and a school and a bunch of businesses and um, Swenson grew to like 400 people and then the schools consolidated and people from here went to Ask Vermont. And, um, and then it seemed like that's the same time the population started to decline, which is a fairly common story in a lot of towns when the school consolidations happen. Um, now there's a lot of interesting stuff to see here. There's, there's some abandoned buildings. There's some just old buildings that, you know, I'm not sure what they are. There's a, there's a nice church here big that's kind of right on the main road and you it really stands out as you drive by and then there's still you know plenty of people living here not an abandoned town but there's a lot of uh, kind of mixture of abandoned and old historical and a little bit of new The town of Peacock was very similar to Swinson in that it started around the same time because of the railroad and grew very similarly as well. Um, three, four hundred people and the school here stayed open until the 60s before it was consolidated and that's when the town really started going, uh, getting a lot smaller. Um, also, it's Swinson was on more of a main road, this is on more of a back road. and. I'm assuming that has hurt Peacock as well. Um, this feels more like a ghost town, a lot more abandoned buildings in Swinson, uh, but definitely you could see the, the kind of the old bones of what the town used to be walking down this main street.
This is where the town of Oriana used to be. And before I get talking about that, um, we were driving, you know, through those dirt roads and kind of a couple miles west of Peacock, just north of here, there used to be a little town called Antioch. And there was a church there and I think a couple, you know, a small settlement and they were hoping the railroad would go through there and it didn't. And then when the railroad came through here, they decided to move that town here. So kind of the town consolidated with, with Oriana. And so Oriana built itself up a little bit, um, was not very big and it did not have a population for very long, but it had a little bit of uh, population and a couple of businesses and did have a school. And then things seemed to be stable until the railroad stopped through here in the 1960s. And then now it's nothing's left except this incredible bridge that's still here. I mean, this is on the back road. Um, there's not a car has come by. I've been here for quite a while just checking things out. It's a beautiful setting. You can see why they picked here for a town. Um, yeah, pretty interesting history and glad that there's something left here to, uh, to remember Oriana by. There was a town called Double Mountain, and that's where this uh, cemetery got its name. And it was called Double Mountain because there's the Double Mountains. You can see them from the cemetery. And it was very small. It, it was, you know, uh, rural, you know, ranchers. And it was originally called Jackson. And then it became Double Mountain. And then the post office changed it to Lingo, even though people still referred to it as Double Mountain. Uh, officially, it was, it was Lingo for a period of time. And then eventually things moved to Aspermont. Uh, they had a couple churches and they had a school. School burned down at some point and they had to have the school, the rest of the, you know, classes in the, one of the churches. And uh, so, but early 1900s, there wasn't much left. And all that's remaining that kind of tells a little story about it is the cemetery. Now this is a large cemetery for such a small community, but you know, most of the graves and all, well, you know, when you look at the headstones, it's, it's much more uh, modern than when the town was here. So um, obviously another community cemetery, cool name, Double Mountain Cemetery. Uh, but yeah, we're almost done with our day. We're getting towards the end of Stonewall County. Our final ghost town was located right around here. Is it was named Doris. Um, also, maybe it was known as Cactus Flat. I think there were two schools that combined, consolidated, and in this in this area, we're in a far kind of southwestern part of the county. We're near Fisher County, which this area, this town of Doris, had um, when it, when things consolidated, a lot of things actually went to that county. The post office closed, uh, the schools and People were closer to towns there than they were in Stonewall County, but it was a late 1800s uh, settlement and had the school in the 19, you know, 14 to 1916 range and post office, you know, at that time and closed soon thereafter. Never was real big, um, but enough to be a ghost town of Stonewall County and a lot of birds flying up out of the, under this bridge kind of freaking me out but um so yeah so that's that's the the end kind of anticlimactic there's not much to see it's very pretty right here and uh this this creek that goes you know under this bridge is really nice you now we're, we're close to those double mountains and uh i drove around now I'm down, I'm down to the south of them so maybe i'll 
uh, get a little closer and see if I can get a nice drone to have a real, you know, cinematic conclusion to the video. Well, I went down this road and this is the closest I could get to it. There's a, the road just basically dead ends at uh, somebody's house. So I didn't figure I was gonna go hang out there. <laughs> so uh, this is the closest I can get to the Double Mountains. But, but you know, Stonewall County was probably more than I expected. It was a lot of history, found some old bridges that were, you know, broken down, but would have probably in more um, populated places have been kind of, you know, taken away and um, pretty cool that some of that history is still left there. There's some cool ghost towns in Stonewall County and, and um, yeah, some great stories behind some of those towns. So really enjoyed it, had a lot of fun. You know, we're close to the Double Mountains. I actually drove around them and now I'm in th to the south of them. Our final ghost town was probably located right here, right around here. It's called Doris. Whoa, there's a big bird flew out of there. 